Katie Clancy, Chief House Soccer at the Cape House at William Ravis. And I'm Sarah Lapsley Martin of T. Martin Lapsley at Killing Grover Real Estate. And this is What's Good Cape Cod, where we show you the Cape through the eyes of a couple of locals. Every week, we tell you about a person, a place, and a thing we think you should know about. And this week is all about Sarah Mason at the Cape Cod Nail Company. So we finally made it to uh, Cape Cod Nail Co, so right? I just can't wait. I can't wait. Bare nails, by the way. Yes. We need some help. Decided to fix that. <laughs> anyway, we are ready to talk to Sarah. So Sarah Mason, welcome. So tell us a little bit, if you can, the story, <laughs> the condensed story yes. of how you got to be where you are right now. Sure. So um, I started Cape Cod Nail Company in 2016. Um, I've been doing nails for about 15 years. I got my nail license while going to Cape Cod Tech in Harwich. Um, so I started my business really when I had two small children. I had moved back to the Cape to be closer with my family. Um, and I couldn't find a place on the Cape where I really wanted to work. So I started doing nails mobily kind of around the same time. All my friends started getting married. So they would ask me to come do their nails for their wedding. Um, and it was just really fun. They would invite me over. I'd do their nails, their bridesmaids' nails, the mom's nails. They'd feed me snacks, have beverages. It was just really fun. Um, so that's kind of how Cape Cod Nail Company got started. It was just really an organic um, sort of progression. Now, where did your love of, of nails start? Was it at tech school? I think so, yeah. I was in um, cosmetology, and I absolutely hated doing hair. I was <laughs> really, really bad at it. Um, so I got my nail license when I was a junior in tech school. You didn't actually graduate. I never graduated. Why not? Um, I I was working. I had three jobs in high school, um, Not none of them doing nails, actually. But I was just working and I went through a lot um, with my family life. So I actually signed myself out of high school April 19th, the day I turned 18. You signed yourself out of school. You're like, that's it. I'm done. I have what I need. I know how to be a grown up. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do this thing. And you did the mobile stuff and that started to take off and you were off Cape. What brought you back? Um, so really my kids, um, we had kids and then I still had family on the Cape and Cape Cod is just, it's home. This is where we wanted to be. We lived in Weymouth for a little while and Weymouth was great when we were young. It was a hop, skip and a jump to get into Boston. Um, but this is home and this is really just where I wanted to raise my family and, and start my, my business. Okay, so let's talk about the place a little bit. So you started with the mobile. Um, I know you've had a pop-up shop in Mashpee Commons, and I have this beautiful location. So just give us a little more insight on that. Sure. So um, I, with a partnership with E4All, which I think we're going to talk about too, um, I had an opportunity to apply for um, one of the cottages on the other side of the Commons for a pop-up shop. So it was a six month lease. Um, it was more a retail store than a service store because we were there for such a short period of time. We didn't want to pursue like the full salon license. Um, so we were really selling nail polish there and it was kind of an overwhelmingly amazing response that we needed to make this our permanent home. Has there ever been a, a nail salon in Master Commons? Yes, yeah. So this store actually was a nail salon. It was. It was, yeah. Um, so we kind of flipped it. We gutted the whole space. Um, it used to be red, and now it looks very different. It sure <laughs> it's beautiful. I Thank love you. the colors. Thanks. Yeah, me and my dad pretty much did all the work in here. So uh, demo day was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> and who did your artwork? Um, Claudia Chippy Designs. She's amazing. We love her. So you were one of the businesses that actually did well in the pandemic. We did, yeah. We were really just kind of set up for it. Um, it was kind of a roller coaster ride in the beginning. We typically do a lot of weddings. So in the beginning, we lost all of our weddings. And then um, towards like mid-May, we just started getting all these phone calls. Um, we lowered our minimum and kind of did a small pivot in our marketing. Um, we worked outside all summer, so as long as we had access to water, hot and cold water, so outdoor showers, we were using to fill and clean our tubs, and um, shade is really all we needed, so wow, it was a crazy summer. <laughs> what kind of parties were, was it like girls groups, or because if it wasn't weddings, right? No weddings. We did maybe like a half dozen weddings. Okay. Um, we'll typically do anywhere from 70 to 80 weddings in the season, so we had about 6 to 10 um, but yeah, just really small pods of family members that were here quarantining, um, groups, small groups of friends that have been quarantining together. 
So yeah, it was really safe. We were outside following the guidelines, social distancing, masks. It was, it worked out well. We were, it was good. <laughs> so you mentioned the E for all. I just want to know a little bit more about it and how you got involved with it. Um, and Kristen Marshall, who's the director of Eat for All Cape Cod, she approached me and told me about the program. Um, we met, she told me I should apply, so I applied for a pitch contest. Uh, I didn't tell any of my friends and family that I was going. I was terrified. I got chosen to table. I did not get chosen to pitch. And at the event, I actually got chosen as a wild card to pitch that night and ended up winning the whole thing. So yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> So um, the natural progression of e for all was to apply for the Accelerator Program. So I did the Accelerator Program. Um, it was e for all South Coast. It wasn't on the Cape yet, so I spent the summer driving back and forth to New Bedford and Fall River, which was amazing. Um, and I did really, really well in the program. So I now mentor for Cape Cod e for all and I've been really um, thankful to have them. They're an amazing organization. And they were kind of the ones who inspired the pop-up shop connection too, so. Okay, so we've talked about you, we've talked about this place, and there are so many things about you and what you do that we want to talk about. We'll start with, let's talk about the nail polish. Tell us a little bit about how you got your line and everything. Sure, so um, the nail polish line kind of came about organically too. I had a friend visiting me from North Carolina. She was helping me organize one of my kits for a party, reading all the OPI names. And she just kind of said, wouldn't it be really fun to name your own nail polish? And I was like, you know, that's really funny because I've actually been thinking about that. Um, and she was basically like, yeah, you should you should do that. How, how should I do that? She's like, I don't know, Google it. So, <laughs> so that's what I did. Um, so we narrowed it down to a few U.S. companies that provide the formula. Um, I flew down and met them, saw the facility, and it was amazing. I started using the product at home on clients, and we fell in love with it. So we launched the line. It's um, cruelty-free, vegan-friendly. It's a 10-free formula, which means it has um, 10. It does not have 10 of the harsher chemicals you typically find in polish. Um, we started with 18 colors. We have about 40 now, all super fun, cape-inspired, nautical names. Um, we really just wanted to kind of grow the brand, and um, that was the way the way to do it. So, What are some of the names that you really love? Do you have some favorite names? Did the Rotary Confucia is definitely <laughs> my favorite color name. Um, we have a few white shark-themed colors. Uh, We're Gonna Need a Bigger Boat was one of the original ones. Then we added Gills Just Wanna Have Fun, Respect the Locals, Great White, um, Wash Ashore, You Scream Ice Cream, really fun, yeah. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to share? What, would you, what else would you like to tell us? Sure, so I think um, just sitting in this space right now, it's been such a crazy, like, <laughs> it's been such a crazy, um, circle of you know just coming around. I grew up in Mashpee. I used to come to the commons when I was a kid. I actually worked at the toy store when I was a teenager going to the tech school and now I just hired um, a couple employees from from the tech in uh, Horn. So it's just really been amazing. Very thankful for the Cape Cod community. I don't think that I could have done this anywhere else. Cape Cod is such like a small local um, supportive community. So I'm just really happy to be here and make this my home. We were so happy to be here with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And if people want to connect with you on, on social media, where should they find you? Sure. So we are at Cape Cod Nail Company on Instagram, Facebook, capecodnailco.com. Um, you can email me. My name is Sarah. My cell phone number is on my business card. So you can call me anytime. <laughs>
when you are a business owner, like there's, as you know, there are three parts or multiple parts of the business. So you, you're the technician, you're the manager, you're the everything. Is there a part of running the business that you like best? Like, or do, or do you just, are you happiest sitting here with a hand in your hand? Um, I do, I do really enjoy running the business. Yep. Um, doing nails kind of like just brings me back. It's almost like, <laughs> it's almost like therapy for me. It just kind of like grounds me and I do really enjoy it. Um, that being said, like running the business and I still have so many ideas on things I want to add, things that I want to roll out for Cape Cod Nail Company. Like what? Um, just like little projects for now. Um, we really want to roll out like a recycling program to kind of bring out more of the eco-friendly aspect of the nail polish and, and like our whole theme, we try to use eco-friendly products and our polish is eco-friendly. So little things like that, um, developing membership packages and stuff, but, um, long-term bigger projects too have always been kind of in the works. Well, so. you're absolutely, <laughs> and you're definitely an idea person, yes. but you're also an executor. Like you get it done. So the way I heard about Cape Cod Nail Company was really through Love Live Local. And you had maybe a table set up there? I did. Yeah. It's my favorite event of the year. Um, I love that one. It's so good. It's amazing. And it's, it's a great way to show, you know, everyone in the local community. I mean, I would have never known about it. And the thing that I think is so wonderful is that because it's 10 free, I was looking for something to use on my daughter. She's only three and I didn't want to use a regular nail polish. And I wasn't really sure if I should even paint a three-year-old's nails. <laughs> and I was like, well, this makes me feel a lot better about it. Yes, absolutely. And now how about your kids? Do they love nail polish or they do. I have two boys, yep. so seven and ten. Yep. Um, so my little guy used to have me paint his nails all the time when he was like four or five. He loved it. Yeah. He actually named one of our pinks Let's Take a Shelfie. I love that. A couple of years ago, we added it into <laughs> yeah. the line. Um, and the older one, he's funny. He doesn't really like to get his nails done too yeah. much, but he's very into like the business side of it. Uh, and he actually was the one who inspired the connection to the White Shark Conservancy with our great white shark colors so. I love that yeah he's really like businessy and he tells me when I should adjust my prices and things like that <laughs> that's, how old is he he's 10 that's that's amazing <laughs> you need both you need the product tester yeah, and then you need the business absolutely one. yep I so love your nails. your nails. Just for the halibut <laughs> amazing <laughs> I mean it's actually the color of like fish skin and yeah. I love it yeah it goes so perfectly. It is well outfit. matched with outfit. What yes. color did you pick? So I picked this amazing U jelly. <laughs> Look at that color. I love it. And it matches. It matches me. Well, it had to match. I yes, know. yes. So we learned all about Sarah. We learned all about this place. We even got our nails done. I'm in the process of it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> yes. Well, that's all we have for today. So now you know Cape Cod like we know Cape Cod.